Good morning, everyone. So I posted this beauty yesterday. This is the 24 Loft. This is their hideouts mini destination trailer, I think is how they're, they're classifying it. But I posted a picture of it and asked if you guys wanted a video. It seemed like a resounding yes. So here we go. Now, I do want to preface at this by saying that Keystone themselves do not have a lot of information up on their site about the details of the floor plan, like the, the nuts and bolts. So I'm not gonna be able to get into a lot of that with you today, but I think you're mainly wanting to see the interior and cover some of the exterior. It is the destination camper park model, so it's meant to be taken someplace and left. That being said, it is only 7,200 pounds. So it is on the light side for such a big camper if you're looking to uh, tow it to your destination. So we're looking at the rear entry here, which we'll come back to. Uh, I also wanna say it's dirty. We just got it. Uh, we'll have it washed and cleaned and beautified here soon, I promise. So ignore the dirt. We have a nice big powered awning with the LED lights. As you can see, I have those on. Solid entry steps, like I said, it's around 7,200 pounds. It does come with the Solar Flex 220 package, so it does already have solar panel, panel up on the roof. You have power stabilizer jacks, power tongue jacks, dual propane bottles, of course. Over here, we have our tankless water heater, which is fantastic. Love this max air vent or max air fan. I'll show you that on the inside. I saw that earlier. Controls for your inverter, solar disconnect, nothing too crazy. Outside shower, you've got your city water connections, your fresh water connections. Let's go ahead and start on the back. So if we come up on the porch, it is kid and pet friendly. I like how they've done these bars on here. LED lights up here so you can sit back here. You even have the ability to, uh, this is uh, this will run off your solar, but you have the ability to have a TV out here if you want, which is really cool. Big, big sliding glass doors. It does come with a screen. They always put it here like this for transit. As we come into the space, we do have our jackknife sofa, so this will turn into a bed to give you additional sleeping options. Couple of seats over here. A cool little table desk. So you've got a pull out uh, desk. Uh, you can also match or set your. Does that pull out? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't get a hold of it with both hands, but as you see, those legs move out. So you can pull that out to make a workable desk. You've got a place to set your TV to watch a TV in here. You have one loft here above the rear patio. Let me move this chair out of the way and I will climb up there and show it to you. So a really large loft up here. You've got a ceiling vent right there. Um, nice big bed. You have power, USB, some storage space over there. So there's one of your lofts. Then your main loft. Check this out. Love the spiral staircase they're doing on this. This is awesome. So not only do you have a ton of storage space up here, you've got, or yeah, storage space over there. You've got plenty of height. I'm six foot. I have no problem with height up here. Room for a bigger bed if you want one, but check it out. You actually have a fireplace up here in the loft. Um, very, very cool. Also a place over there on that wall to mount a TV. So you could actually lay up here in your loft with the fireplace on. Oh, you don't have to turn the heat on either. You can actually just turn the lights on. So if you just want it for ambiance, you can. Uh, and watch TV from here in your loft. And you've got this cool view here. Very cool. Uh, kitchen. So we've actually got a really nice size kitchen in here. So we've got our sink area, stainless steel, uh, deep sink with uh, chef's sprayer. Storage up above, storage down below. Storage on this side, actually a lot of storage on this side, as well as prep, serving space, more storage up above, plenty big enough fridge freezer combo, uh, three burner stove, 
microwave, and then of course we have our bathroom back here. So I was talking about that Max Air fan. I think this is really cool. This is the fan right here that you saw right there, and it's <laughs> properly located. But no, not only is that gonna pull out the stink, it'll also pull out the steam when you're in here taking a shower, so that's nice. Lots and lots and lots of cabinets in here for your towels and toiletries. Sink, lots of countertop space, big medicine cabinet, and then huge shower, huge shower, sit down shower, which if you watch any of my videos, you guys know that I absolutely love my sit down showers. So there you have it. I promised you a look on the inside of the 24 loft. Uh, I will do another more detailed walkthrough as far as all of the tech specs and stuff as soon as I have those. But like I said, it is literally so new that even the manufacturer doesn't have any information on their website. Uh, so if you have questions or I missed anything you wanna know more about, if I can answer it for you, I will just drop a comment down below. Have a great day.